Hey, sports card fans, it's John Wade Boggs fan. Hope you're all doing well. Before I get into the main part of this video here, which is to show off the second card that I've picked up on my list of 100 cards for $10,000, I want to make a, a quick point to the video I posted yesterday regarding the big announcement that Collectors has acquired SGC uh, along with them owning PSA. I mentioned that a possible long-term effect uh, of this could be uh, a potential merger of PSA and SGC into one grading card company. Uh, right now, as I understand it, both companies are independent, uh, still operating separate uh, businesses. So I don't think right now it presents any type of monopoly within the market. But should collectors decide to merge the two companies, there could be um, a monopoly within the market. But I also mentioned that it could pose an opportunity for another company uh, to come in and try to compete uh, with that combined company. And I had mentioned possibly Fanatics. Fanatics has been making big moves uh, within the hobby, especially the card uh, production, getting all the licenses and so on. Um, there was this one video on YouTube. I don't know um, if they have inside sources, whether there's just speculation, I, I don't know. Uh, but supposedly, according to them, Fanatics was also interested in acquiring SGC. Now, again, I don't know all the details. Maybe PSA outbid Fanatics. I'm not sure. Fanatics has a lot of uh, um, money behind it. Maybe they just got to SGC first. I don't know. Uh, but if that is the case, and I, I think there are... Uh, talks out there that Fanatics does want to get into the grading game uh, that maybe collectors saw an opportunity to bring SGC in to better compete against a potential Fanatics competitor. So again, just something to think about that there's some long game being played here. Uh, I'm sure things will work out. Again, I'm not worried about it. Um, as long as uh, PSA slabs are out there, I'm happy. Uh, whether it's old stuff or continuing with PSA slabs, I'm fine. Uh, but again, just another thing to think about that rather than uh, jumping to short-term conclusions of what's gonna happen here and suddenly there's no monopoly taking place right now. According to everything I've seen, there's no monopoly being taking, pla taking place because there are two still separate companies. SGC is still operating under its current model. No changes there. PSA is still PSA. So anyway, all right, on to this uh, main part of my video, uh, which is to show off card number two uh, on my list of 100 cards for $10,000. And as you could probably tell uh, from the thumbnail, it is the 1964 Tops Ernie Banks card. Uh, Ernie Banks has some beautiful cards and I just love his 64 Tops card. So excited to add that one to my collection. So I'm gonna turn the camera around, uh, show off some of the other 64 Tops cards I have in my collection, uh, just cause I love the design, and then show off uh, the 1964 Tops Ernie Banks that I just picked up. One more thing I wanna do before I uh, show off these uh, 64 cards and the uh, Ernie Banks that I picked up. Uh, as you can see, I have a new sort of layout here, trying something uh, a little different. And uh, if you notice the last couple of videos in the background here, uh, I received from Jake, the commissioner, the official YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame patch. Uh, thank you, uh, Jake. And of course, uh, thank you for everyone who uh, voted for me uh, to uh, be uh, elected into the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame. Uh, really honored and, and blessed uh, that you um, voted me with this, with this honor. So again, very appreciative. In addition to the patch, uh, Jake sent one of his custom cards and it says, let's see if you can uh, focus here. Welcome to the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame, Johnny Boggs. Uh, God bless the commish. So uh, Jake, thanks for uh, including one of your uh, custom cards as well. And then if you watched Reindeer Studios, uh, his nomination video for the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame, of course, being a great artist, uh, what he decided to do was to draw uh, caricatures 
of the uh, YouTubers that he uh, was going to vote for. And he, one of the channels that he voted for was me and did what I thought was a, a really cool caricature. So I reached out to him uh, to see if I could uh, you know, buy it from him. Uh, and he just said, hey, just give me your address and I'll send it to you. Uh, so I'd been meaning to find a, an avenue to, uh, to show this off because I, I think he sent it to me possibly even before I uh, found out that I was um, elected to the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame. But this is the caricature. It's, it's somewhat big here, so hopefully I'll, I can show it off without a glare. Uh, really, <laughs> I, I love it. Uh, I, I just think it's a really cool uh, drawing of me and my wife got a kick out of it uh, too as well. And as you can see here, he signed it as well. So I eventually want to get this framed. Uh, Scott, thank you again for sending this, this to me. Uh, such a great artist. And I, again, I just really love uh, that image. So, all right, on to uh, the 64 tops cards here. Um, what I'm going to do is just quickly show off, not really get into uh, the different cards themselves. Uh, the first one I have is this uh, Tito Francona. And the reason why I have this card, he's not in the Hall of Fame, uh, and I do collect Hall of Famers, but I believe this was a contest win uh, from Jason, uh, Mr. Fisherbike. And... Um, I don't, yeah, I don't think he just sent this out as a random act of kindness. I think it was a contest that he had, uh, was one of the uh, lucky winners, and got this Tito Francona card. So just, again, gorgeous looking card, these 64s. Uh, the next one I want to quickly show off is my Lou Brock. And I think this one was part of a uh, three card uh, winnings from a contest or something that Mike Baseball Collector was doing. And of course, it included some PSA cards of Hall of Famers, and this Lou Brock was one of them, and I didn't have it in my collection, so it was a perfect uh, win uh, for me. Uh, very uh, appreciative of that, and so that's a, a very cool Lou Brock card with the Cubs. Next, we have a card of a player that I'm uh, going to attempt to work on a uh, playing days run, the Harmon Killebrew. Then we have, of course, the Koryastremski. I think this is my highest graded 64 tops card. Um, if you're familiar with Yastrzemski, you know that this is uh, pretty much the same image used in his 1963 tops card. Then the Hank Aaron. Again, just love that image. Just the colors. I don't know. Just. The 64 tops set, it, it, it's not fancy, it's not exciting, it's, it's somewhat plain, but, I, but there's something I like about it. I don't know, just the team at the top and the color banner at the bottom there with the name and the position, but I think just the images. I know some people don't like uh, just portrait shots, which 64 tops pretty much has for the most part, um, but I don't know, great image of Hank Aaron there. And then, of course, you have... The Pete Rose, um, far and away in my eyes, the better looking card than his rookie card. Uh, just love that rookie cup. Uh, just the young Pete Rose there. And the other thing that I like about the 64 Tops card and set, and you, as you can see it here uh, better, is it, it almost has like a 3D effect. They they include the player's image right above, the, so it goes over the border. You can really see it here with the Hank Aaron, uh, a little bit with the Pete Rose, but with his cap being uh, white there, you don't see it as much. And now for the pickup, the second card on my 100 cards for $10,000 list. Just love this image. Here's the Ernie Banks. Picked it up in a, a PSA 5, uh, one grade lower than uh, what I had on my list. Again, was trying to put cards on the list that averaged out to be $100 with 100 cards. Um, and I had budgeted a uh, 6 to cost me $100. So by dropping down a grade, I saved some money, and I'll, I'll get into that in a moment. But let me just move this away here. Uh, just give you a better, closer look at that card. Hopefully, it'll, it'll there we go. 
Again, still playing around with this, uh, with the lighting in my room. It's still not uh, perfect, but uh, just trying a little different viewpoint here to show off cards. There is a little bit of a, a ding in that corner, uh, but I love the centering on it. And here is the back. Really like the fact that the uh, scratch off uh, was scratched off. So you can see what the answer is to the uh, trivia question. I'm with uh, Johnny Blanchard of the Yankees. But there's the, there's the back. And again, another shot at the front there. All right. So as I had been doing with my 100 cards for $100,000 list, I'm going to give you an update as uh, every time I pick up a new card uh, to let you know where I am in the process. Obviously, the goal is to not spend the full $10,000 uh, to try to save as much money as I can. Um, most likely dropping down a grade, maybe two, depending on the card that I find. Uh, but I'm not tying myself specifically to uh, the grade or the price point uh, that I did when I put the list together. And I will have a uh, link to the spreadsheet in the description of this video. So if you want to check out what cards uh, make up the 100 cards. Um, I also maybe put a link uh, maybe in the description, uh, maybe at the end of this video here, I'll have a link to the original video, which I go card by card, show off the, the different cards uh, that are on this list. But you can also just check out the spreadsheet. Uh, it's a Google Doc. You can click on the link and uh, see which cards that uh, I have um, and which ones that I'm, I'm missing here. But through two cards now, I had originally budgeted a total of $175. This one here, instead of $100, all in shipping tax and everything was $65. So I saved $35 there. Um, with the Thurman Munson, I saved $40, I believe. So my total budget was $175 that I thought I would have to spend. And I only spent 100 bucks so far on the two cards. So I am under budget, if you want to call it that, or under the 10000 uh, By $75, after two cards already, I saved myself $75 from what I would have to spend if I went for uh, the full grade on the list. So already making great progress. So uh, with that, uh, that's all I have for you. Uh, let me know what you think about the 1964 top set. Uh, this Ernie Banks here, again, just love this image of Ernie Banks. He has so many really cool cards, uh, but particularly, I, I really love this 64 tops example. And with that, that's all I have for you. So until next time, thanks for watching.